on everybody Danny Coker here aka the count thanks for tuning in to the counts customs YouTube channel today we're gonna have a deeper look into the world of reality TV we're talking about no one other than Danny Coker of the show counting cars it's been two years since the last episode of the show and everyone's wondering what happened to Danny Coker don't worry because we've got you Stay with us until the end to know exactly what Danny Coker is doing after counting stars. Danny Coker was born in Ohio, Michigan. He turned 59 this year on 5th January. He might be known as Daddy Coker on TV, but his real name is Daniel Nicholas Coker II. His love for the cars was passed on to him by his parents. Both of his parents were Ford employees, which eventually sparked his love for cars in him. His education, parents and mechanical knowledge played a very vital role in shaping his career. Throughout his whole TV career, he appeared in a lot of shows, starting from his horror show called Saturday Freight to Counting Cars. After his acting career came to an end with the show Counting Cars, everyone has been missing and wondering where he is right now. His sudden disappearance from the public eye also led to many death rumours too. For everyone who has been wondering, let me tell you that Danny Coker is alive and well. Not only that, he's currently the owner of a vehicle restoration shop, Counts Customs. Danny also owns a restaurant, Counts Vamped Rock Bar and Grill, and a tattoo parlor, Counts Tattoo Company. Coker is also a singer in a rock band called Counts 77. Now that we're recalling Counting Cars, how can we forget the drama and scams that followed the show? Let's talk about the first scam of the show. Do you remember Joseph Frontier, the accountant for the Counting Stars? He was involved in one of the most infamous scandals on the show. He was accused of using company money for personal expenses, such as his Range Rover and flight tickets. He also forged signatures and missed tax payments, resulting in an $18,000 IRS penalty. Counting Cars sued the company that recommended Joseph Frontier, their former accountant, after discovering a history of money theft. Frontier is alleged to have used company money for personal expenses, forged signatures and missed tax payments, resulting in an $18,000 IRS penalty. Wish I could say that Joseph was the only cast who got sued in the show. Daddy Coker himself got sued and was on probation for three years. He illegally removed a 2008 Cadillac Escalade from a tow yard and moved it back to his garage. This isn't it too. Do you remember I told you how the accountant of counting cars embezzled money? Well, it happened again. Only this at his vamped rock bar and grill. Danny Coker, owner of Count Vamped Rock Bar and Grill, sued two former employees for stealing funds from the business. The investigation revealed that the employees were stealing from the bar safe and diverting money into their own accounts. These embezzlement incidents raised concerns about Danny Coker's ability to manage his businesses effectively. Besides all these scams and lawsuits, there was one more pressing concern. It was about how fans started claiming the show to be scripted. I mean, we can all agree that some parts of the show were over the top. For example, let's talk about how the show's premise is to surprise random people with money for their cars. However, it's widely believed that the scenes were staged with the producers approaching people in advance and filming the deals off camera. This is done to make the show more exciting for TV, but it's ultimately misleading to viewers. One of the many reasons why fans claimed the show to be scripted was because, besides always getting positive reviews on screen, their Yelp review was pretty bad. The time and budget cuts were also pretty unrealistic and fans felt that Danny was misleading them here as well. Even with all this, the show was able to survive from 2012 to 2021. There was no particular reason as to why the show ended. It completed 10 seasons and it was enough. Even though the show ended, Danny still owns and runs Counts Customs. He also runs another business beside it. However, his past was, we wish him good luck for his future. And there you have it folks, a look into the captivating life of Danny Coker. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell icon too so you never miss an update from us.